What's happening, YouTube? It's KMega405 live from the 405, where I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers. Now, the week is not even up, and the bullshit has already started. I cannot believe that for one week, we cannot enjoy each other as gamers and talk about what was really cool about the show and what games that we want to buy. Because every conference, regardless of how you felt about this E3, there was games that you wanted to buy. And if there was not a game that you thought that was satisfactory, then you're not a fucking gamer. That's just a fact. Every, every damn co conference had something that was appealing. Every conference. Every last one of them. Even the PC conference that I was watching had something. Nintendo, I would like to show Nintendo content, but they'll flag your ass, so I eh, can't do it. But regardless of that, here comes those click baiters these guys ain't gamers they need those lit they need those clicks 30 frames per second on destiny that is the biggest thing right now that is what's trending why the xbox x cannot achieve that it's not that the xbox x can't achieve it phil spencer made it clear millions of times it's just that people just don't want to fucking listen they want people to be confused I mean, just think about it for a second. How is it that the Xbox One Fat, we're talking about the original Xbox One, can achieve 80, 90 frames per second with Killer Instinct, 60 frames per second locked with Forza, and other games that's out there that's 60 frames per second, but yet with the X, ah, nah, with Destiny 2, nah, it just can't happen. It's this fraudulent. And what's sad about these clickbaiters is that these people do not want to talk about the facts. They want to talk about every other thing that bounces around and give you hypotheticals and make it seem like it's real. But the real problem is what are the devs doing? There's only a few options of why they will not maximize the power of the X. It could be that they're devs for hire. It could be their publishers. It could be any number of things. Maybe they're not familiar with the hardware yet to do it so they just said here maybe it's parody but regardless if there's really parody in the game right now then we as gamers have to address that because even when the playstation 4 was quote unquote 50 percent more powerful i wanted to see it and really what was funny was that when everybody was bringing up the resolution aspect that was supposed to be the whole 50 percent power but that wasn't even that wasn't even nothing about it it was just resolution now we're talking about true raw power and they're still going to try to hold it back? Why? The PC is getting... There's people that were saying on the PC um, conference that they had Destiny maxed out at 141 frames per second. So it's coming... It's pretty odd that the PC can get that. And really, what's funny to me is that, look, okay, so if I buy Destiny on my PC, my PC can achieve 1080p, 60 frames per second, no, no problem whatsoever, right? So if I can play Destiny and I can get it over 60 frames per second, and you're telling me that my Xbox One X cannot do that, which it has way more powerful components, then you're fooling yourselves. That's a bunch of bullshit. There's, some, there's something behind this, and that's what the gamers need to be trying to address and go after, not trying to go after Xbox, because Phil Spencer made it very clear numerous times that it's up to the developers. So when you start seeing um, games like The Witcher, which was one of the best games this generation, it was only 30 frames per second, it's going to get enhancements. But it's going to be up to the developers if they just want to go further and give it to 60 frames per second in, with the 4K. So bottom line, it's up to the developers. I don't understand how that's hard to comprehend. I mean, just think about it from this aspect as well. You got games that's third party. They're not a part of Xbox. They may be on the Xbox, but Phil has no control of what those people can do with their games. It's their property. So when they go in there and they decide that they want to lock a game at 60 frames per second that was at 30 frames per second, that's up to the devs. If the devs just want to leave it at the frame rates, that's up to them. Just want to make it 4K, that's their decision. If they just want to say, look, we want just to be completely stable, have it at 1080p, 60 frames per second, that's on them. 
as long as the game runs better than what it did at the beginning, that shows you that the system is more powerful. I mean, come and look at what the pro has done. Look at Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 15 was only at 30 frames per second. The beloved Persona 5, only 30 frames per second on the PlayStation Pro. The new Crash Bandicoot that's coming, going to be 30 frames per second. We're talking about PlayStation 1 remake, 30 frames per second. And just like I was making the point about Final Fantasy 15 being 30 frames per second, it plays better on the vanilla and on the slim than it did on the pro, even with the boost. Now, there's games that's 60 frames per second, but they drop in frame rates. We don't hear these same people bitching and moaning about that. That selective facts, those memory losses, they, they get these memory gaps, man. These, these, these fanboys get these memory gaps. Look. E3 is supposed to be about having a great time and talking about games. Not trying to bring up the bullshit just because you hated that the platform that you preferred didn't have its best showing and the other platform dominated. That's just a fact. Don't talk about how bad indies are when you were praising indies last couple of years in the beginning of the generation. Indies was great. Xbox forgot about the indies. PlayStation got them. PlayStation don't say anything about the little guy no more. But as gamers, E3 should be something that we should all appreciate and we should all come together and figure out what's the biggest problems that we need to address collectively. But instead, people be on that bullshit and y'all be listening to clickbaiters. Have a good night. For days, Kanishiwa, it's not a game, no. Riches in the bitches, what I came for. Then I switched my angle. Was unchained like I'm the Django. Now that shit dangled to my ankle.